We're doing something a little special. We're presenting the pilot premiere episode of a new show that I'm trying to sell to some of the film networks. The name of the show is On Cinema, On Directors. On Cinema, On Directors is a new chat show where I speak with some of the directors of our time who made the movies that have created memories that will last forever. Now, a little bit later on the On Cinema Oscar special, I've got a very special guest, one of the all-time legends of Hollywood, an Oscar winner themselves, and that's going to blow your minds. That's going to make international headlines. But before we get to that, let me introduce the pilot episode, live pilot episode of On Cinema, On Directors. Today, my guests are two of the great directors of our times. Uh, from the movie, Yes Man, Mr. Peyton Reed. Thanks for being a guest today. Right. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. And from uh, the motion picture Decker, Tim Heidecker. Good to see you. Good to Tim, see how you. are you? Nice to meet you. You too. How are you, Greg? Good. Well, thanks for being in. a guest here on uh, <laughs> my new show. This is unbelievable. Thanks for having yeah, us. I think this is great. I love this. This is a chan chance for directors to really talk about their craft and uh, educate the movie-going public as to what goes into making these great blockbusters. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Peyton, what led you into directing movies? Uh, well, you know, something I, I uh, had been interested in since I was a kid, and uh, my parents got me a Super 8 movie camera when I was a kid, so I just always... Uh, Loved uh, shooting film, you uh, know, and I loved watching movies too, as I'm sure you probably did as well, Tim. And so, Tim, yeah. what led you into directing movies? Well, it's an, you know, it's um, you have an idea, and you want to see that idea exactly the way you picture it in your mind. So you um, you got to take charge. You got to be the one to seize the moment. And uh, if I if I felt like I was going to give Decker over to some some Fed somebody like you who is going to just do their job, show up nine to five, and just try to get the job done, um, it's going to lose the magic that, it, that we provided. And I felt like that was my responsibility to direct my own vision. What is the hardest thing about directing? Well, you know, I, it, it's, um, it's sort of a, it's a marathon and a sprint all at I once. You know, you've, you've got to, you, you're, you're there every day, you're there in prep, and you're mm -hmm. there when you're shooting and then when you're editing. Um, so endurance is a big thing, and also just kind of having, you got to have, I think, uh, as Tim said, a vision for the thing that you're doing. Yeah, I said that already. And you, and, and you have to have like a real enthusiasm for what it is because, you know, you're on a movie for, I don't know how long it, it took you guys to do your Two weeks your for thing. the first one. So you're on like, say, two weeks to a year or something like that, and you, you know, you've, you've really got to, got to be psyched about it. Yeah, I was. How does a director get the best performance out of his actors, Tim? Let's uh, go to you for a minute. Well, you know, I luckily get to work, I get, as a director, I get to work with one of the best actors in the business myself. You know, so I don't have to worry about, is he going to do a great job? Now, I also get to work with Joe Estevez, who I'm friends with, and I can talk to him at length about the part, and we can work as long as it takes to get it right. Special Agent Kington. And Kington and Greg Turkington, as you know, did a good job, but that was because I got I played mind tricks. I used psychology to get him to do a great job. So you got to use all your tricks. Oh, yeah, I'll actually kind of uh, build on what Tim was saying. Is, is that it is one of the great joys of directing to work with with talented actors and things. And um, I will say, Tim, I, I was, you know, I, I checked out uh, some of the Decker stuff, and I, I, I uh, particularly I, the performances that you got, and particularly I'll have to say, Greg. Uh -huh. That performance was really fantastic, and Thank and then you. when I sort of saw the the um, cinema thing and sort of how you went about that, there's a long history, you know, of uh, yeah. directors pulling all sorts of stunts to try and get performances out of actors or non-actors, and and that I have to say that strategy that you used with sort of, you know, filming him without him really knowing, I thought was you know was kind of genius. I thought it was it was it was really smart, and and the performance, you know, I thought well, it was really. I could, can't Terrific. say the same for yourself because I didn't get a chance to see all the movies you did. But it seems like you're a nice guy. Best, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Do you guys have picks for best picture of the year? Tim. Well, I got to go with Escape Plan starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Arnold Schwar and uh, from Rocky. That was the best movie Sylvester of the year. Sylvester Stallone mm -hmm. from Rocky. 
and the Rocky two, three, yep. four, five, yep. and the Rocky Balboa. Mm -hmm. Uh, Peyton, any best picks for the uh, Yeah, listen, I, I, uh, I love Boyhood. I thought Boyhood was great. Um, I'd be happy to see that win Best Picture. Not um, too likely. <laughs> well, yeah, you never know. You never know. The, uh, yeah, the Academy well, works, you know. What I'm finding out from my sources at the Academy is that The Hobbit is going to be sort of a surprise stealth nomination via the write-in vote, which has been used throughout our democracy for many presidents mm -hmm. to win. And also for Oscar movies such as Kramer vs. Kramer in 1979, which won via the write-in vote, and I am told that this year the the uh, the Hobbit is going to win the write-in vote. Well, so Greg, you guys I, are wrong. I, I, let me let me actually. It, that's not entirely accurate. You know, I'm actually in the Academy, uh, and oh. there's a very specific sort of methodology you do like early on. You know, you can sort of in, if you're a director, you vote on the director category and all those things. But mm -hmm. by the time the nominations are out. Um, it's really impossible to, to have a write-in uh, category. If, it, if enough people had so written I it in, it would have probably won the nomination. That's what I was no, telling. Because it, it, I but told him about that. Because this is America, this is democracy, yeah. you can vote for anything. That would be crazy to exclude movies that earned the right to win yeah. this award. No, and listen, yeah. I think and that's probably, why you can yeah. write it in. If I'm you sure bring some of the That's what the box office is for. I mean, that's what, that's what big famous movies don't get win all the kinds But when of you awards. voted, there's space on the paper, on the ballot, to write in whatever movie that you want, and that's what most of the voters have done this year. Well, when you initially vote for the nominations, you can nominate movies, but by the time uh, all the votes are tallied for what final five to ten are going to be nominated, there's really not a a write-in space at that point. So there's point. no blank space on there to write or to cross out all the other Listen, nominations. Listen, I suppose you could create add, one, but there's not, no, not really, but. Well, yeah, if you can create one, that's what people would do. Uh, listen, I suppose it's not uh, impossible, but. Mm. It's, it's not an electronic unlikely. vote, it's paper, so you can write in anything well, that you want. they do have an online voting system now that's. And it uh, has actually, a space for write-in votes, or for you to add any titles that you feel should be the winner. I think, I don't, I don't remember seeing it, but there, you may be right, I, I but I don't, I don't think that's yeah. Because I, case, I've actually. got you know I, I found out for sure that the Hobbit as a write-in vote got between 53 and 59 percent of the votes this year, mm -hmm. and so you're going to see it win this year. So all right, I've yeah. Got, I don't. Yeah. Well, well, I guess we'll agree to disagree on that. But yeah. it's let's see. Uh, listen, it's a terrific movie. I know you. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. All actually, what kind all of awards did you ever win? Hobbit, uh, six Hobbit movies were terrific. Mm -hmm. huh? um, Peyton, this question is for you. Uh, everyone's talking about Decker. It's one of the highlights of the season last year. Best movie of the um, year. What would you have done differently if you had directed Decker? It's oh. kind of a fun question for Tim to listen to. Well, that's actually yeah. That well, <laughs> that's a, that's kind of a slippery Stay home. slope. That's kind. Of, it's it's very tough for one director to sit next to another. Every director has a different style, so it's kind of it's, particularly when it's finished. Now, if Tim were to say to me, "Hey, I've got a rough cut of a movie, or a sh or a, a show." Um, I want you to check it out and give me some notes. That's one thing, but you know it's it's done, so it's kind of weird. Dick. I yeah. I tell you what you say. You'd say um, no notes. That's the best movie I've ever seen. So, um, God bless you for checking in. But who is this guy? <laughs> well, I'm this not guy saying from? I'm not saying it would be a you do. Where's this different. guy from? I mean, I'd seen this Yes Man movie once on TBS, but it's well, Jim there's, Carrey. there's not. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's it's. Uh, I I think director Deck no, is terrific. Pardon me, but. I mean, how do you know? How do you know anybody? Who do you bring? Who do you bring? There are who is this you're bringing in? There are a handful of shows. Can, I, can I just say no, now that he no, has you, asked the no, question? No, you've said enough. I would have probably Greg, shut up for a, a sec. few less motorcycle uh, riding shots. Would have been just. All right. Well, that's pretty what, popular. I'm going to ask you yeah, a question. I've also you heard answer from me honestly. How do you bring in this guy? Well, this is. Well, I, I mean, because how this do you is know direct. this guy? Don't you don't talk no more. The show's called On Director, so we have we talked. I want to know from you what kind of setup this is. How do you know who, who this is? Why did you bring him here today? How, how do you know who I'm he is? Because I'm trying to make the best pilot I can by who, getting it, advice and information from direct top directors. Of how the, do you I know can, him? If you Let want, me ask I, it, then you're not going to answer me straight. You answer me honestly. How do you know this asshole? All right. Uh, well, it, it's it kind of a, an exciting thing to. I watched Decker and and thought again that you directed uh, Greg in a terrific performance. Yeah, and, I know I did. Um, you know, we're always my casting people and I were always looking for sort of exciting new people. So we will go on the internet and 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 sort of scour the internet for people. And you know, she sort of turned me on to to Decker. Um, and I saw uh, I saw Greg. I'm sorry if it's is it Kingston or Kington? I can it's Kingston. The yeah, character. Yeah. So uh, I, I saw his performance as Kingston and I, I was like Kington. 
King, and uh, his performance as Kington, and I was like, I, I think this guy's terrific. And uh, I was directing this movie Ant Man for Marvel, and I was like, we got to get. There's a scene that I think this guy would be uh, perfect for. Uh, it's I can't talk too much about it, but it's a stand, It's a scene with uh, Paul Rudd, and so I, you know, I got in touch with Greg, and I was like, I want you to be in Ant Man, and we. Uh, when are you doing we, this? We shot it uh, in the fall. We we started principal photography, I guess, mid August, and wrapped December, and I think you came down. Was it November or November? You were in a, you were remember. in Jackson Hole and you weren't talking to me and you weren't doing. But it's the kind of thing that again, as a director, you're like I was just trying. To, I mean, this was a lot of fun to be on a movie set. But as a director, to see that and hold I got again, I got to. You're think, in a movie with with Paul Rudd. Yeah, he's a great. And I can't reveal. I can't reveal who Greg plays. Is this a prank? I'm sorry. I mean, I just. I, you're in a movie with this guy with Paul Rudd and whoever. No, he's I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the movie. I directed the movie, and it's it's. Uh, you did this while I was in, way in Jackson Hole. It's coming out July 17th. Uh, it's Marvel's Ant Man with Paul Rudd. And so you two are together now. Uh, as a Michael team? Douglas. And you two are the team now, and I'm a guy on the outside. Well, no, no. He uh, Greg just came and did a role in why the movie. I, why don't you? Why don't you ask me to be in the movie? Because you wouldn't. It wouldn't well, there was make a sense. There, yeah, there was sort of a specific part that was. You okay. know, we saw Greg, and he just well, seemed good like meeting he would you. Be, I gotta uh, go, and thank you very much. Happy Oscars. I gotta go. Thank you for watching on cinema on directors. Comes out July seventeenth. July seventeenth. Uh, Ant Man comes out July seventeenth. Is he about to go to a break? Have you not told him? No. He's really touchy. He's really touchy. Oh, sorry, I just assumed that you probably had told him. Now.